hi guys today is my lecture is about phylum kino rahinka from escalamentis kino rahinkas are small and okay by naturally symmetrical worms their size is less than one millimeter they are found exclusively in marine environment they live in mud and sand they have no external cilia or locomotive appendages therefore they simply burrow through the mud and sand with their snouts. Therefore, the phylum takes its name from this method of locomotion. The phylum Kynorhynchus contains about 150 known species. External features: the cilia are present on the body surface of the Kynorhynchus. It is composed of 13 or 14 definite units called zonite. The head is zonite one, it bears mouth and oral cone and spines. The neck is zonite two, it contains spines called scalates and plates called placids. The head can be retracted into the neck. The trunk consists of the remaining 11 or 12 zonates. It ends with the anus. Each trunk zonate bears a pair of lateral spins and one dorsal spin. Internal features The body wall consists of cuticle epidermis and two pairs of muscles. These muscles are dorsal lateral and ventral lateral the pseudoculum is large and contain amoebite cells feeding and digestive system of phylum kynorhynchus a complete digestive system is present in them it consists of a mouth buccal cavity muscular pharynx esophagus stomach intestine and anus most kynorhynchus feed on diatoms algae and organic matter other organ system a pair of proto-nephridia is present in zonite 11. The nervous system consists of a brain and single ventral nerve cord. This nerve cord has a ganglion in each zonite. Some species have eye spots and sensory bristles. Reproductions and development. Kind of rinkus or diocious with pair gonads, several spines around the male gonophore. These spines are used in copulation. The young hatch into larva. The larva does not have all of zonite. As the larva grow and molt, the adult morphology appears. Molting no longer occurs in adults. This is phylum kinorhynchus.